Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I have done one with uh, Carl and Chris on MM Crypto's channel. You can check it out here. You can see we debated actually with uh, Carl uh, whether the market's going to go up in the midterm or go down. We both agreed in the short term that there's a possibility that Bitcoin's going to go up to $9,000 or around that point. And, but we, where we disagree is where um, Bitcoin will go from there. So check that out uh, if you're interested in that video. Now today I want to talk about um, how markets work and how basically the, the, the Bitcoin market and all markets on the stock exchange or whatever exchange you go to work. One of the things that people confuse about um, are confused about when they ask me, okay, how come Bitcoin has this, this high price of eight thousand dollars? It doesn't make any sense to me. And uh, and because they, they they point to this coffee cup and say, well, hey, you know what? If if I wanted to sell this coffee cup for eight thousand dollars, there's no way I could do that. And that's true because in your market. In your local area, the way you look at things, you don't, you don't, you don't see a huge amount of people gathered together in one spot to sell coffee to everybody. Um, you have to go looking around the different places, and one place might be more convenient but more expensive, but it's okay because you're willing to um, to uh, pay the extra premium for convenience and purchase the coffee at a higher price. But a person who wants to um, sell coffee, he has to deal with every other coffee uh, vendor in his area and of course he wants to sell his coffee for the highest price but he can't sell it too high because you know what um, people won't buy it there will be some people who will buy it but most will not because you know they'll find uh, a better place to buy it at now imagine if um, you were to walk outdoor outside and every single coffee uh, vendor in your area was right there to, to you so you could choose which one to buy. Of course, you buy the one with the lowest price, depending on the quality and source, of course. And that's, a, a, that's another issue with, um, with other commodities such as coffee, is that it's, it, there is a difference between the types of coffee and flavors and also um, uh, 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 the, the amount, the the um, basically the quality. So one person's coffee might be better for you than another person's coffee, and yeah, it's really difficult to determine which one's better. And so this is why um, money needs to be consistent. There can't be any kind of differences between one bitcoin or another, or one dollar and another, or one in gold or another. Um, if there is, if then you will discount that um, that particular uh, uh, item. Um, for example, if, if there is a difference between one Bitcoin and another, one Bitcoin looked bad to you, then you wouldn't want to, um, to buy that other Bitcoin unless it was uh, extremely, it had a better price. And this is what's, this, this is what's called fungibility. And so um, Bitcoin, um, is very fungible because it's it's always the same. One Bitcoin equals another Bitcoin. Now, because of that, we can have what's called markets. And I'm going to show you a market right here. And we have a bunch of people gathering together in a group to decide what how much they want to buy the Bitcoin and how much they want to sell the Bitcoin. In this case, we're talking about Tron. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be gold, it could be silver, it could be um, stocks, bonds, whatever. Uh, as long as they have a consistency of, uh, in, in, uh, in the type that you've, you're going to be buying, like for example on the gold commodities exchange, right, it has to be 400 ounce um, good delivery bars. Um, and they have to be that, that specific size and specific weight and specific amount of, um, of gold inside each of bars. And with that said, um, uh, here we have like we could sell, buy and sell uh, what's called Tron coins, and you can see on this in, in this display you have what's called the price, 
the quantity that somebody wants to sell at that price and the total amount at that, that particular price. So here, this is priced in Satoshis or Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin really, because it's a 0 0.000017 Bitcoin, Bitcoins that you could buy this, uh, buy Tron at. You could buy, what? There's a total amount of 81,000 Tron at, I'm gonna say, uh, 170 Satoshis. And, um, and that's the price where if you wanted to buy it, this is how much you'd have available. And now you can see that somebody has picked up a few Tron, right? And you can see that over here because it showed, hey, you know what, someone um, um, uh, sold, actually sold some Tron, actually, sorry, sold Tron um, at that price, right? Because somebody wants to buy at 170 cents. And over here, somebody wants to sell at 171 cents. So if you wanted to buy it, you have to buy it at 171, 171 sats. And if you wanted to sell it, you'd have to sell it at 170 satoshis. And you can see there's a bunch of people having their own price of where they want to buy it at and where they want to sell it at. So somebody up over here wants to sell a, um, at 190 sats. Um, uh, let's see here. What is that? 126 thousand tron right and you can see the total amount of uh bitcoin they would receive now it might be more than one person that wants to sell it at that price it could be or just one person we don't know um this this particular uh stat does not give you the number of people here some some uh tra 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 exchanges it's just basically a location where you are going to purchase the big the the crypt the, the cryptocurrencies or crypt, the, or the asset and the, some of those exchanges will uh show you how many people are actually selling it at 190 sats or and um, and show you each and every person's um uh, uh price that they want um amount that they want to sell it at uh, they won't show you the exact person's name or whatever it is but they'll show you that there's a certain number of people there now, with that said, if you want to um, to buy a lot of um, Tron, what would happen? Let's just say I want I had like five Bitcoin. Well, you can see here um, the total amount. I'm gonna um, bring up another um, chart here because this chart doesn't show you nicely. There we go. I'm gonna hide this one here. And there we go, I gotta hide it this way. Right, it's just another way of seeing the exact same um, piece of information. I'm just gonna move my, um, oops, I'm gonna move this, my image over to the right here. And there we go. So this is just another way of looking at the exact same um, picture, right? Uh, you can see, you know, the, the amount of people who are wanting to buy, the amount of people who want to sell, but um, on, over here, we can see that if I wanted to spend, uh, if, if I had five Satoshi, five uh, Bitcoins, I would push the price down and I would just, uh, okay, if I want to buy it, let's say, let's just say I want to buy. I'd have to buy, I have to, I'd have to spend, move the price back, move the price up if I wanted to buy. Because this is people um, selling here. Um, want, yeah, these are people selling here. All these are sellers, and all these are buyers. People wanting to buy, and they all have different prices. And so, if I wanted to buy five bitcoins worth, I'd actually lower the price. I'd increase the price by let's see here, about to one hundred and seventy-four sats, because there are those are the people who are willing to sell it to me, five bitcoins worth at that price. Now, there's another thing I could do instead of pushing the price up and buying. If I that's only if I wanted to buy the, the the Tron right right now. I wanted to get Tron right now, no matter what. That's what I have to do with those five bits. I can also go. You know what? I want I want Tron, but I'm going to set the price. I'm going to spend. I'm going to send spend five bitcoins, but I'm going to set the price at 163 cents. And I just have to wait for somebody to actually sell it to me at that price. So somebody who has a lot of Tron. 
um, they could sell and they want they have like 10 bitcoins worth of Tron or maybe 20 bitcoins they would push the price all the way down if they want to sell right now 20 bitcoins worth of Tron they would push the price far far down because as you can see there's not enough people selling Tron 20 bitcoins worth of Tron here in this particular diagram so you'd push the price down quite a bit and that's how the price moves in the markets right somebody who wants to to do something right now right right now they want they have a lot of tron and they want their money right right now they're going to push the price down to uh, a really low level and that is how the market works um it, it, it this is where the price is basically set now with that being said of course um if the price lowers because somebody dumps a bunch of money, um, dumps a bunch of Tron into the market, uh, what tends to happen is people go, wait a second, it's really cheap, and I'm gonna go buy it for that cheap price and, and pick some up. And so then moving the price back to, to uh, equilibrium. And so uh, this is how you, you understand how the market works and why, um, um, we have the price that we have priced right now. The price effectively right now is not the real price because if everybody were to sell all their Tron, obviously no, but, uh, no one would get the 170 sat sats because you know there's not enough people selling, wanting to buy um, all the Tron that's out there. So uh, that's where we at. So, no, so we have this, this is how markets work. This is how, um, um, Bitcoin gets its price. Um, there's people wanting to buy at a certain price and people wanting to sell at a certain price. Uh, and um, when, those, uh, when those buyers and sellers meet, that's the current price. Sure, uh, if you had a lot of Bitcoins at, uh, today and you want to dump them all, you'd destroy the price. But that's probably not going to happen because a lot of people will be starting to buy it up whenever it gets to a lower price. And so, uh, and because Bitcoin is limited in supply, it's easy to see that Bitcoin is worth buying if somebody were to sell a whole bunch of Bitcoin onto the market and lower the price. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. Uh, if, you're, if you know somebody who does not understand how Bitcoin gets its price, please send them to our video. All right, thank you for watching.